This system is a sham. It's a disgrace to the city. First on Fox 6 News at 10, emotions run high for a murder victim's family after the accused murderer walks free. So how did the homeless man afford three high-powered attorneys, one all the way from Los Angeles? I'm Nikki Preed. That story is coming up. Not guilty. That verdict set off a rising tide of emotion in a Birmingham courtroom today. A jury decided Terry Bonner was not guilty of murdering Brittany Temples. Temples' father yelled out inside and outside the courtroom. Fox 6 News reporter Cynthia Gould has more. Bill Temples had to be restrained and let out of the courtroom after an emotional outburst. Temples yelled at the defendant saying he lied and killed Brittany. He also addressed the jury saying you let him go. They let a, a, a man that's as guilty as I am standing here right now go back on the streets to, pet, to predatorize more young people or anybody else that's defenseless out there to be able to protect themselves. Even defense attorneys said they understood these emotions. It's a very emotional situation. You got the family. Uh, been through all kinds of uh, hell with this death. I mean, it's a, it's a sad thing. No two ways about it. I can almost understand it. But Savaggio said today's verdict was justice and Bonner had nothing to do with this crime. He is a scapegoat. Let's face it. Southside business people wanted y'all to know that it was all safe to, uh, to go down the south side after this was over with. They didn't want you to have any fear. So they pick a homeless man off the street with no alibi whatsoever. He, he knew he wouldn't have an alibi. And they pin it on him. Bonner was released from jail just a few hours after the verdict. He had this message for the Temple's family. I didn't do it. And I'm, I'm, I, I feel the pain saying what they do. In Birmingham, Cynthia Gould, Fox 6 News. Even though Terry Bonner was homeless with no money, he had quite a legal team. Three lawyers worked on his case, one of them from Los Angeles. Fox 6 News reporter Nikki Pree joins us live with more. Nikki, most poor defendants uh, don't get this kind of representation. Where did he get the money? Well, really, he didn't get the money. The two local defense attorneys basically worked for free, as well as the man you mentioned from L.A., Thomas Mesereau. In fact, Mesereau travels the country covering cases like this one without charging. And today he tells me he feels justice was served. Was done today. I absolutely know justice was done today. I know Terry didn't do this. I knew it from the time I talked to him. And the more I spoke to him, the more it made no sense. For the last 14 years, Thomas Mesereau has defied all those greedy lawyer jokes. He spent much of his career leaving behind his successful West Coast practice to defend clients like Terry Bonner, people who can't even pay him. I believe it's something that more and more lawyers should do because we are blessed to have the professional opportunities we have. Mesro says that's why he got involved with this case. While his heart goes out to the victim's family, he truly believes that Bonner is innocent. You have to have great compassion for them. And they want justice. They want someone to pay for this. They want the person who did this to pay for it. Uh, they had a belief that uh, it was Terry Bonner. Uh, I'm convinced it was not Terry Bonner. Uh, from the moment I first talked to him, I didn't think he was guilty of this crime. Mesereau and two local lawyers helped convince jurors that Bonner did not kill 21-year-old Brittany Temples. Temple's father was outraged at the verdict. He blames the team of attorneys for Bonner's freedom. Mesro says he understands the Temple's anger, but that everyone deserves a defense. This system cannot function unless good, competent, dedicated lawyers defend people, whether the people they're defending have committed crimes or not. Now, Mesro has worked on other cases in Birmingham. That's how he came to be on Bonner's trial team. His latest was the Sarah Crawford trial. That was the woman who was accused of killing her young daughter. She was convicted, but on a lesser charge. Reporting live in Birmingham, Nikki Preed, Fox 6 News.